Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Firefly Tarot. Today we're gonna to be doing a pick a card reading for your current energies. So this is going to be a pretty in-depth check-in for you guys, um, just to see what's going on with you, how you're feeling, what's going on in your energetic field, and anything and everything could come up here. So I'm gonna pretty much try to go into as much depth as I can. I'm gonna be using the Gilded Tarot for tonight's reading. I will also be using some of the charms and the letters that are here, and I'm gonna be taking some written messages for you as well, whatever is relevant to you guys' energy. So anything could come up. I'm actually really interested to see. So um, we have the four groups here. Remember that this is a general reading and if you would like a personal reading, the info is in the description box. Please uh, take note that if the schedule is full, I do update it every Friday evening and I will try to add some slots today. I think it's actually full, so I'll add some more today. Um, so we have here the four groups. For your current energies, pick a card. And group number one is Amatrine. Group number two is Clear Quartz. Group number three is this Rose Quartz Pendulum. Group number four is the Green Purple Fluorite Heart. Okay, so one more time we have group number one, group number two, group number three, and group number four. So really just take a breath, take as much time as you need. You can use the thumbnail picture to help you to make a selection, even though I know it's a little hard to see on this tarot deck. Um, this is the first time I'm using the Gilded Tarot. They're a beautiful deck, it's just a little hard to see on camera as well, you'll, you'll see what I mean. Um, so yeah, take a breath, take as much time as you need. The timestamps are in the description and in the comments. And whenever you guys are ready, I will see you at your reading. Hey everyone, this is the reading for those of you who chose group number one, which is Amatrine. So let's take a look at your current energies and anything and everything that's going on with you guys. Spirit, this reading is for group number one. And what's going on with them? This deck is slippery, so let's do our best. Please provide us with clear guided messages for group one and anything going on with them. It probably sounds kind of loud too when I shuffle, so hopefully you're not blasting the volume. All right, so let's take a look. Spirit, um, what, what are the present energies for group one, please? Present energies for group one. What's going on with them? Group one, what's going on with you guys? I have a feeling a lot of you are pretty much burnt out to the point where you're forced to take a break or you'll be needing to very soon. Um, so yes, as I said that, the temperance card comes up. So the first card we have is the temperance. 
So this does show that there is a need for healing, that there is a need for slowing down, because the card that is coming up right next to it is the Knight of Cups. So it does look like there has been some recent speed with you guys, um, particularly in the area of love. So there has been a ton of passion in a short amount of time for you guys. Now, it, if it's not necessarily romantic love, it is showing a large amount of some kind of passion. So some of you, it might be relationships. Others of you, it might be something with your career or some idea that you've had lately. And I am sensing like that, that energy of being frazzled, just being, being drained. Some of you drained, but I, I feel like it's just, pff, you know, it's a little bit too much passion. It was a little bit too much all at one time. So yes, the, the, the fire was burning too brightly and it's now time to take rest, to slow down just a little bit. All right, Spirit, what else? For group one, present energies, please. For group one, what is going on with them? All right, we also have the Seven of Swords. Okay, the Page of Swords and the nine of wands wow look at that all right so now this is interesting now i'm already sensing that there's a split in the group here the seven of swords is looking like someone in your energetic field has been deceptive or is currently being deceptive all right so someone here you see the card someone is looking over their shoulder and having this mask on Okay, so for some of you, I mean, this there's a chance that this might be you, but someone here, whether that's you or someone near you, is showing some kind of energy of being inauthentic, and for a smaller number of you, it's flat out deceptive or dishonest. Now, if that's the case, if you're in that that you know smaller number of people, then I feel that you know intuitively that there's something kind of deceptive about the situation or the person. Um, perhaps in their communication, in their behaviors, but that's just for some of you. But others of you, um, we'll, we'll clarify this, but yeah, there's something here that's not quite as it seems, all right? And we'll, we'll check up on, on that. Page of Swords here. So yes, on a deeper level, you are craving more than anything clarity and truth because the Page of Swords here is just fed up with all of that inauthentic or dishonest energy. You have been through so, so many so many battles, emotional battles or situational battles. And yes, uh, tying back into the first card or the first um, energy that I sensed with the shuffle, you are completely exhausted. You are so burnt out. And I know that many of you have heard me say that plenty of times before. It's, you know, the energies like the messages are repeating here. So yeah, there, there have been these um, recently a lot of stormy skies, uh, for some of you, there has been a lot of chaos and others of you, it's not necessarily chaos, but it's, it's been proving to just be a lot of stormy and unstable waters for you recently. And now just either, either now or in the near, near future, you're finally going to be taking a step back and just like whew, letting yourself breathe. Now you might end up doing that because you're hearing this message now, but it's it, it doesn't you know it doesn't make a difference. You're going to be taking this break for yourself, uh, a much needed break. Okay, so it's it's just been a lot. Spirit, can you please clarify the Seven of Swords specifically? What is the Seven of Swords telling us? The Emperor. I honestly feel that for some of you that there is either a person or a situation that is, like I said, it's not what it seems. Um, I don't want to alarm any of you, but for some of you, I was getting the, the phrase, there is something about lying, being lied to, right? So we have this Emperor card. If it resonates that um, it is a person, the Emperor, um, the emperor is the... Aries card, but if not Aries, it's not always relevant if it's a zodiac, but um, this is a strong masculine figure in your life, and um, I'm sensing for some of you that th it is the case that there is a masculine figure in your life that is very strong-headed, 
And I don't think that, um, in, for, for this group of you, I don't know if your person in mind here, I don't know if they're intentionally lying. I just feel that there's something that is not adding up here. And that makes me concerned because then that means that um, it, it's still creating the energy of dishonesty. So yes, the Page of Swords is here. It's tugging at you. It's nudging you saying, hey, you have to get to truth. You must get to clarity. Okay, so let's keep going with this. This is interesting. We have the chariot. So it ties in exactly with the page of swords. They're saying that you must make a choice towards clarity, towards truth, and towards removing that veil of unknowing, right? Now, if you're able to successfully do this, you're going to relieve a lot of this energy of battles, okay? So yes, um, there's just something here. Like I'm feeling like something is not quite as it seems. Um, Spirit, any advice? advice for this oh my goodness the five of pentacles okay at first i was a little shaky you know as sometimes i don't do pick a card readings for a while and i feel like i have to warm up to it again um but it's it's adding up here the five of pentacles shows this energy of some kind of hardship or instability some of you might be feeling uh a, a bit anxious usually i say that feeling of being left out in the cold but i don't think that that's what's going on. I think that this is a feeling of some kind of not feeling grounded, not feeling safe and secure, and feeling a bit anxious about this whole situation. I feel that your intuition is the thing that's tugging at you. Your intuition is saying, hey, something doesn't quite add up. And hey, I might have even gotten advice for this from a friend of mine or a loved one recently. And, and, and I think that they're right. I think that they're speaking what I was feeling. Um, spirit, anything else? Two of Swords and Page of Cups. So with Two of Swords, it's right along with the Chariot. It's showing that there is some decision or conflict that is creating this sense of either blockage or, again, a little bit of anxiety in moving forward or, like, what do I do? What action do I take? Um, the Page of Cups here. Let's see. The Page of Cups, similar to here, the Page of Swords. I think that this ties together. I think that um, what you want is authenticity. What you want is true emotion from life, from a, another person, if, if that resonates. But, yeah, that's what you want. You want that truth. I actually do see you freeing yourself from this strange energy here um, that seemed to take quickly over the reading. Let me let me cycle back and go more towards you because um, it just took over immediately. Spirit, can you clarify the temperance? The temperance card, what is that about? Okay, hmm, we have another five. We have here the five of swords which does show that I think in the recent past, you were fighting some battles, you were fighting some petty battles. So this, again, I am sensing that it's involving another person. You have here the Six of Wands and the Empress. Now that is a great combo to have. So I feel that very recently, and well, very recently, but more so as well in the whole, uh, in the, this whole year, that you have come into a ton of strength and power, okay? Six of Wands and the Empress together. The, I mean, it, it's not gender specific, but the Empress is this immensely powerful feminine energy, right? And then the Six of Wands is victory and success. So this, this is you. You recently came into a lot of power with yourself. That was part of the healing. I feel like for some of you, there was a, a teensy step down in your power because of this, because of this that happened afterwards, right? Let's see what else I can clarify. What about the Knight of Cups? Knight of Cups, please. What is that talking about? Okay, yeah. I mean, for some of you, it's definitely a person. We have here the King of Cups. All right. Um, again, if it's not a person, sometimes the court cards can represent situations. But um, 
the Knight of Cups and then the King of Cups. So th this has to do with a lot of emotion, not necessarily a lover, but there's a lot of emotion involved here. And it is syncing up that this is the same person. I don't really see it as two separate people. Some of you, I'm sure someone out there that might be the case, but I don't see it as two separate people. This King of Cups, the Emperor, same strong headed masculine energy that is coming up. Okay. Um, this might have been a new beginning for a lot of you guys with the Fool coming up here. So yeah, th this was something that I honestly feel it, not to use this phrase in a harsh way, but it feels like some of you got knocked down a peg when this happened because your energy here, it took a step downward. If you can see, you know, it's just like slanting this way. So interesting stuff. Um, it So he, did you notice I tried to ask about you and your energies and this took over again? It did it again. Spirit, um, do you have any messages and advice, guidance so far? The Hermit. Oh, wow. That's crazy. The Hermit. The card for looking inward and taking a step back and being alone. Oh, my. That's pretty clear. There, you know, so obviously Spirit is saying here, it is that time to take rest. Take a step back. Take, take even a couple of days. Take a couple of days to yourself where you don't have to be involved with other stuff and other people. Um, and that's only if you don't, if you can't take a longer time, but energetically and spiritually look inward, withdraw. That's a good word. I, I'm feeling that word a lot right now. Withdraw into yourself, retreat. Okay. And, and look inward and do the soul searching, do the soul seeking. This is going to hugely, hugely benefit you for, for the long term. And now is the time to do it. So if you have been, if that's, for some of you who have been really contemplating that, now is the time to do it. Um, for a smaller number of you, it might be talking about an actual relationship that you feel, you have been feeling intuitively, hey, let me take a step back. You know, th this is calling you to do that. If it's not a relationship, it's just in general, take that time. Spirit, what else is going on for group one and their current energies? I'm starting to feel a little fear, a little, a, yeah, that anxiety has, it, you know, it's, it's turning to fear, a little bit of distress and sadness. Now that's interesting because what I'm sensing is that you guys have overcome that. You have overcome your emotional hurdles in that sense to the point where you are no longer truly and genuinely afraid that you're going to take steps back. You're not truly afraid of loss. It's just like this, you know, like this panic kind of that's starting to flare up. Um, so you're not, maybe you don't feel it right at this moment, but in the in the near future, you might start to feel a little panicky about either losing something or sort of like losing your footing or whatever but that is what i'm sensing and the reason i said it's interesting is because you guys here the empress the six of wands that's not you anymore so let's say in the near future that you start to feel this way just remember you have overcome that you are past that and you are the empress you are the six of wands you have developed and evolved and established your your footing and your sense of being grounded that is who you are so so just try to remember that you know because it's it's easy to fall back into those old ways and that's what i'm sensing here like that little slip just like a, a temporary one all right so we have here the look at that wow ace of pentacles this is beautiful so ace of pentacles it, it's this energy is now separating from this one here we're taking a bump forward this is a new beginning for you. And a lot of people have actually been having cards like these in, you know, recently in, in my readings. Um, Ace of Pentacles. This is wild. This is a whole new beginning of abundance, prosperity, a new way of life. I see this in terms of your career path. I see it in terms of your attitudes, the richness, so to speak, in general in your life. This could be emotional uh, emotional richness as well, whatever, the, however that resonates. Um we have here the Five of Wands and the Three of Cups. I do see, basically it looks literally like conflict resolution here because the Five of Wands is conflict and then the Three of Cups is coming together. Okay, it's good that this came up together because if it was just the Five of Wands, I'd be like, uh-oh. But okay, so we have that. Um, so 
so part of the new beginning could be like I said emotional it also could be in regards to other people um, it looks like harmony harmony and friendship and brightness let's see what else spirit what about the ace of pentacles so that could be, um, it could be, of course, relevant to what's whatever's going on here, but it does look like it has a positive turn, which is really, really great. Whoa. Okay, interesting. So we have here the Eight of Wands. I, I see that completely as positive news. A lot of you are going to be receiving very good news, particularly with um, something with job job career finance something like that um i i really see that something really really positive and golden is coming your way this is great um if it's not actually news itself it's movement it's movement could be travel for a, a smaller number of you could be that because the eight of wands is known for that as well so something really good is coming your way in terms of that excellent yes and you have this beautiful four of wands four of wands um Paired with the Eight of Pentacles. So let's take a look at the Four of Wands before I interpret that one. That one is always going to, you know, catch my eye. Spirit, can you please clarify the Four of Wands, please? Alrighty, and Four of Wands. We have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Um, so... This is a tricky one. What we're seeing here, all right, I really hate to say this, to burst anyone's bubble here, but the four of wands, it is paired on top with the five of wands. And then you have two court cards that are of a different suit. So guess what I'm going to say there. Um, something doesn't quite match up. Something is a bit in conflict with this situation, which could have had to do with another person, or it could have just been a, a, literally a situation. Um, so all I'm going to say for that is simply something isn't quite matching. And that's okay. It's just that I'm, I'm you know, bringing that to your attention just because that is what I see here. There is some kind of conflict. So it, in my mind, I'm seeing a math equation that literally doesn't add up. There's just something just a teensy bit off. Just one one or two numbers off. And I mean, obviously that, that makes it all the difference in the world. But whatever that resonates for you, there's something that's quite not matching up perfectly. So we keep going with this energy here. We have the Eight of Pentacles. It shows that you're going to, or either now or you're going to, be working really, really hard on your sense of happiness and joy. <clears throat> but different maybe from like, I don't know if it was related to this, but when I say joy, I'm talking about fulfillment specifically. Because the Three of Cups can can indicate friendship and, and socializing, but I see it as your sense of fulfillment. So you're going to be working really hard on that and establishing a completely new foundation for your life. Because I see it matching with the Ace of Pentacles. Spirit, do you have any um, advice, messages, and guidance for a group one? Whoa. I think that I'm not even sure what to take here. Let me just be safe and do it one more time. Slippery cards. Spirit, uh, what is your advice for group one? We have ten of pentacles and seven. Whoa, there's a lot of abundance here. Look at that. So um, the, the ten came first. The ten is speaking of, yes, the, the financial and the career, absolutely. It's also talking about that richness emotionally that I spoke of. Um, so this is what you're going to be feeling almost right away when you take some of these steps here. It's going to be immediate. You're going to feel that. Now, the seven, naturally, you're going to have to plant some seeds here. This one is talking about success. You are on that path. You are about to plant the seeds. In the near future, you're going to plant these seeds if you have not done so already. And as a result of this, I see you climbing the ladder. Some of you that might resonate exactly if you are climbing the ladder of your 
job or getting promotions or something like that but i see you guys elevating whatever the case is for you i see you elevating i see you expanding and and rising so this could be spiritually as well this is great um you also have here i'm really drawn to these animals there's um i think this is a mouse or a rat and a turtle and there's some sheep here so i'm very much drawn to the animals on these cards i'm not really sure why um it could just be either spirit animals it could be you know something having to do with animals in your life oh there's a squirrel here see i i'm just very much drawn to the animals and i i'm not usually so not really sure how that resonates for you guys uh what else what else i'm definitely called to get more i just don't know what maybe i should just do one claire for uh, let's do this one let me get my good old um, universal rider weight. Spirit, are there any clear? Is there any clarification that you have? Or are there any important messages in particular for Group One that you would like them to know? What is very important for them to know here or to be pointed out to us today? The world. Ooh. Okay, anything else? So that one is fulfillment. That one is kind of, to me, confirming that you are on your way. You are on your way to your fulfillment after you sort out just some... Of this conflict whoa all right hmm so the world is your fulfillment your completion i see you independently stepping up i see you doing this on your own so this means that you don't have to be afraid if you know if you previously relied on other people for example so that is coming for you still need to work out this conflict because that was a repeat card the five of wands you also had the seven of pentacles see the seeds are, it just came up right there again so you're planting these seeds of success and of completion now here we have this this is super interesting look you have the two of cups the three of cups and then the five of swords remember i i this is a theme here so right conflict with some either love or friendship thing going on here where the things either don't add up or there's just something there's just something i i don't know what it is it's just there's something there that it's just like i i can't even describe what it feels like it just feels like a knot there's something that doesn't quite fit add up or make sense to me in this situation and for some of you, this might be, I don't know, it, I, I, I don't know if there's something having to do with like a third party or something that is not sitting well with you, but I don't think that that's resonating for everyone. I just, you know, that's just something that came up here. But um, if not that, it could be just talking about, about friendship, All right? So Spirit, what is your final advice for group one? Final messages, advice, and guidance for group one. But yeah, you guys are really going through just... It, it's stressful, to say the least. So, I feel that here, the final card, the Ten of Cups, this is such a beautiful final card. And honestly, what I sense from this is your happiness i don't necessarily see this being connected to other people or a situation i see this as you getting to your fulfillment and this is what you've wanted for a very long time so you you do come into this power with the ace of pentacles all right the advice that i'm hearing is go back to your healing and come back to the energy of the empress and the six of wands here because this was where you felt on top of the world this is where you felt amazing this is where you felt safe so they're just saying to gently return to that frame of mind before you 
feel any more stress because that's going to pull you even further out of alignment. So they're asking you to come gently back to that place of balance and to really continue to allow your progress to continue. So let's see, what do I grab for you guys? Let, let's just get a couple of, let's do both. Um, these are the letters. I, I don't know. I don't really, it's weird to pull them out of a bag. Let's see. Spirit, are there any significant letters or words, anything for group one? Let's see. I don't know what is going to happen here when I do this. I don't think I've ever really done this like this. All right. What matters here? What words or letters matter here? Just like that. I don't know if it's going to spell out something. Let's see. You have, yeah, I don't, <laughs> I, I don't usually like to do letters through this because I just like to draw them out in my mind. But, um, all right, let's just show you one by one. You have D, so tiny, L, K, I, F, and S. I really don't know if this is going to resonate with any of you, but whatever. You know, I just wanted to use some charms. I, I really don't think, I, I really don't think that it's as relevant because um, it could be a situation, it could be a person. I mean, I wasn't sure, but let, I just wanted to get as many, as many um, tools as I could for you guys. Spirit, any significant charms for group one? So I don't know if this... <laughs> <sighs> If it's a, if it was a love reading or something, I would definitely not use these. So I just wanted to do it for fun. Any significant charms for group one, please? So you, it, only three came out. Oh, look at that. Very, very significant time of learning for you guys. Um, the leaf came out. I'm also hearing be natural, be your authentic self. Okay. Or, or however a leaf resonates for you, that could be a rebirth, a new beginning. Um, you need to, there's something you really need to learn and lock down. The tree of life knowledge is here for you guys. And the last one, some of you might have a child or work with kids or be involved with a child of some kind. This is a little, a little kid. It's a, I believe that's a little girl. Um, all right. So, and that's all the charms I felt called to get for you guys. Um, so however any of the uh, charms or the letters resonate for you guys um these are the messages it does seem like you guys are fried and tired and i feel that you want to come back to that feeling of safety so uh spirit is saying it's very very simple just gently go back to that state of balance because that's where you belong okay group one so whew, yeah breathe that out get it you know for me too i'll do some meditating so that's what i have for you group one i really really hope that this helped uh let me know in the comments what's going on with you now if this didn't resonate one bit you can always feel free to pick a different group because somewhere you know it the messages are there for you so that's what i have for you um i hope that this helped please uh, subscribe and share if you haven't already thank you so much for tuning in sending you guys blessings and protection and i will see you in the next reading thank you so much Bye bye
Hey everyone, this is the reading for those of you who chose group number two, which is the clear quartz. So let's take a look at your current energies and any advice there. Spirit, this reading is for group two. And their current energies, whatever's going on with them now, please provide us with clear guided messages for group two. Okay, Spirit, what are the present energies for group two, please? Group two, what's going on with them? Group two, what are their present energies, current energies? We, oh, okay, weird starting card, seven of swords. I definitely have to get more for that. So, uh, group one actually got that, so I wonder, hmm. Ace of swords. Okay, it's getting stronger. Spirit for group two, what's going on with them? Present energies. All right, so let's start there. So seven of swords, did I show you this yet? So um, we have seven of swords, we have ace of swords, and then we have a 10 of cups. Super interesting combo to start off with. So with, I'm very much drawn first to the ace of swords. So the Ace of Swords is incredibly significant to come out next to the Seven of Swords. The Ace of Swords is, a, is striking clarity, a breakthrough, complete truth and directness and clarity of your path, clarity of everything around you. The fact that it came up next to the Seven of Swords proves to me that you just blew past all of this deceptive or inauthentic energy. Some of you, it might be talking about exiting a situation because that's what this card can, can be talking about as well, like strategic exit. I see that that actually is uh, true for, for a lot of you. I actually see that here. So it is, this is diff definitely different from group one. So Ace of Swords, this is you. This is freedom. This is clarity. This is a completely new, like I'm feeling a breath of fresh air, like freedom. <sighs> It's, it's very strong. So I'm actually seeing the image of this sword releasing from the sheath here and, and being able to breathe. That's big. So, and then right next to that, we have the card of ultimate happiness. This is, you can actually see a rainbow here. This is bliss. This is happiness. Again, that word freedom. So something happened or something is happening right now as we speak that is leading you in this direction. Now, let me actually get some clarity on the Seven of Swords, just because that is always a curious and concerning card for me. Spirit, what can you tell us about the Seven of Swords? Ah, oh my. Another concerning card came out for me. But first we have the Two of Wands, okay? So this did have to do, there's something in the situation that had to do with a, a step towards the future, right? The two of wands, um, I think of something with the future, some kind of path you have to take in the future. Now you have here the devil card that also came up with it. <sighs> My God. Um, wow. So the two of wands and the devil. Spirit, can you please clarify that? I have to know, what is that all about? Let's see what's going on here. Four of swords, okay. Four of Swords. I just sensed that there was recently a ton of imbalance or fixation or just dark, dark energies of some kind. Um, now, th this is why I'm not getting a clear read. It's different for a lot of you. There, um, something happened where you were recently imbalanced. Something was um, surrounding you that was either... Uh, too much. There was darkness surrounding you from perhaps another person, but there was something recently. Let's let's really zero in on this. Spirit, can you clarify the devil? But either way, I see that you um, at a certain point became protected from that. So this could mean that it calmed down. It could mean that you again exited a situation. But there's a split in the groups here. I'm seeing that for some of you it was a situation. For some of you it was a person. For some of you, it was yourself, right? Okay, so um, 
I was clarifying the devil. We have the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Swords. See, yeah. So for some of you, it was something having to do with another person. Perhaps it could have been something with love. Um, it might not necessarily be that for all of you, but it looks like there was... Okay, it looks like there was pain. It looks like something here was either with the energy of attachment, addiction, or obsession. There's something like that. Too much fire. Too much darkness here. And it did cause pain. Some of you, it had to do with something or someone that you were very passionate about. Or roles could be reversed there. So vice versa. Um, anyway, so this could be indicating that um, it had to do with something with the future. So let's say, for example, there was a situation or a person that you were obsessing about or the opposite, like someone was obsessing about you. It just looks like there was a lot of pain here. But there was passion probably on both sides. The bottom line here is that you removed yourself recently or you are currently that you removed yourself and you're taking a step back you're having some rest now what you're currently experiencing is clarity calmness and like you can breathe again <sighs> that was a lot <clears throat> i need to take a, a drink of water oh my god that was a lot <clears throat> so remember i said the thing about freedom I saw the Ace of Swords coming out of the sheath. So that means that before this point, you did feel like you were held captive. A lot of you I am sensing, so um, some of you, yes, I know it is going to be a situation with another person. Others of you, this was talking about mental health. This was talking about feeling trapped within a cycle of thinking or, or neg negativity or anxiety or something like that. But again, the bottom line is what I am sensing a huge breath of fresh air, release, freedom, and finally just some nice, happy, peaceful energies, mellow. It's very mellow. So that's what I'm, I'm really happy to hear that. So let's keep going with that. This was the recent past or like right now. Yeah, I feel like you guys really, um, let's see here. Okay, yes. So you see this, this is another combo that's interesting. The High Priestess and the Nine of Swords. So, the Nine of Swords confirms for me, for a lot of you, there was stress, anxiety, mental health concerns, you know, um, or again, if it was situational, it caused this stress, all right? So we have that. Right next to it, we have the High Priestess, which you guys probably know by now, this is all about intuition and psychic ability, spiritual messages, that kind of a thing. So I see... Um, that this here is probably happening for you as we speak. Okay, let's, let's keep going with this. Spirit, what, uh, what can you tell us about this? The Six of Swords. Very beautiful confirmation. Six of Swords is the card of moving on from something, from shaky waters, from chaos, all of that. And I see that that's what happened for you guys. Now, I, what I find interesting here is that there's still in need of a separation from the past energies. So we have a break here. I feel that for a lot of you, this break is coming very soon, it's like a couple of weeks, kind of soon, a couple of days soon. So this is coming for you and you're going to be removing yourself from this past energy. Now over here, it's still, it's still a concern for a lot of you. So I think that what I, what I take from this is that, um, some of you are currently stepping out of this situation towards your freedom. Either way, this is good. Positive news is coming in. You are going to be moving on, or you're currently already moving on, towards happiness, towards um, that that rainbow and sunshine feeling, you know? Um, so yes, that is what's happening here. You are strongly relying on your intuition right now. There might have been a decision recently that had to do with using your intuition and you took it you used your intuition and it led you to the correct path some of you that are not sure of that you will be in a, a short amount of time you, you will be very soon <clears throat> group two please okay Let's see. Oh, whoa. The Magician. The Magician and the Three of Wands. So your cards started off really kind of hectic and heavy. 
but we're moving on to so much more positive energies here. So the magician, um, I feel that you will be standing in your complete power as the months move forward at, towards the end of the year. So the, the magician is you standing in your power, is you harnessing your intuitive or spiritual abilities and being able to unlock more than you ever could before in your life. And I and I can sense that many of you can that you can feel that this is true, that you already have seen your spiritual abilities unlocking in ways that you never would have imagined. The three of wands paired with the magician, this is insane progress. This is expansion. Um, three of wands for some of you could indicate that um, either moving, travel, or some something like that, movement of some kind. But I do see you elevating. I do see you taking the reins of your life in a very passionate way. So maybe going back to some old projects or ideas, that kind of a thing. Spirit, what else? Oh my gosh. And as I said, that the Ace of Pentacles, that's crazy. So, um, oh my goodness. The Ace of Pentacles is, whew, this is a lot. And um, the Magician has the, the green color scheme as well behind it. And oh, actually, all three of these cards have green, so there's an incredible amount of prosperity, abundance, and success here. The Ace of Pentacles is you starting something that you never did before, or or it's been a long time, kind of a feeling. You're going to be starting something up, and I do feel strongly that this is something you're independently doing. I don't feel that this is connected to your career as a whole, such as getting a promotion or something like that. I feel that this is you. I feel that this is you taking on something so significant in your life that you've been thinking about for a while. And I will tell you a hundred percent, you are going to be successful doing that. Temperance card. Um, the temperance card is kind of floating over your entire reading here. I'm gonna put it right there in the center. It is the glue holding all of this together. All you do is heal. All you do is evolve. You are this kind of old soul mature person. You just keep learning over and over again from each action that you take, from each mistake, each lesson, each um, event, whatever the case is, you learn from everything. And this is exactly why you're able to step into that magician energy and that ace of pentacles and the three of wands. Yeah, you guys are powerful. Very, very powerful. Um, four of Wands. That's always a beautiful little nugget. Um, okay. I'm very much drawn to that child. Hmm. I'm not really feeling uh, childbirth. I'm actually feeling the energy of the fool. Like, start like a completely new beginning. Innocence and just a fresh start and, and flying and soaring. Let, let's really take a look at that. Um, that's always a beautiful card. And it's underneath the magician. Uh, hmm. I feel that some of you could be manifesting that, but let's, let's take a closer look here. Spirit, can you please clarify the four of wands? The three of pentacles came up, so that could indicate something with um, collaborating, working with, or maybe getting along with um, another another person. So the Four of Wands, what else? We, okay, we have Three of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, and we also have the Moon card. Now, I am drawn, I, I am being called to say that for some of you, this Moon card does have to do with the Pisces. Um, that's not going to resonate for all, obviously. But it does look like you collaborate here with somebody. It might actually be business for some of you, but I do see this as sort of like things coming into better alignment. The Four of Wands could indicate something of a twin flame vibe, but not necessarily. So let's let's keep going. What else? The Six of Wands, the Empress, and the Strength. Okay. Strength card is Leo energy there. So let's see. So we are definitely going to be seeing that collaboration and it is going to be successful. 
So whether this this is an actual romantic thing, again, it's not going to resonate for everybody, um, or a friendship or some collaborative effort, a lot of success here. And not to mention you standing always in your power. So you came up as the magician. You also came up as the empress. You are just a powerhouse of energy. Um, the high priestess as well. You guys are on it. You're so elevated. You're ascending. You're really impressing everyone around you at every turn. Th this is big. This is really big. And one thing I want to say to you guys is um, one important thing that I want to mention is that uh, with the whole thing with the throat, the throat chakra, especially for those of you who have been having some issues related to the throat chakra, it is time. So what I'm hearing is it is time to speak your truth. Even if you feel that your truth may be perceived as too big or too ambitious or uh, even, I, I, I don't want to use the word like, you, you might you might just have some negative feelings towards speaking your truth in some way. They're saying that it's time. And as as I see the bottom of the deck here, the Four of Cups, you not speaking your truth and your about your purpose specifically, your mission here, you not doing that has actually caused you significant blockage or even harm, harm or even injury in your life. So do consider that, okay? that's going to make a, a big difference so you can start speaking that purpose speaking that truth today if you want like write it down make manifest it make it real let's see what else yeah so this flipped upward so i'll take that um eight of wands and so you have eight of wands you have the page of swords and the three of cups okay so I'm really just seeing confirmed here that your energy is unwavering as we move forward, especially in the next couple of months. So um, you establish a lot of clarity, you move, you take quick action, and you have such enthusiasm for things. You establish a lot of joy and fulfillment in your life. That little piece there actually was very similar to something in group one, but that's just, that's not really, that's all it was similar in so let's see let me get some clarifiers with the writer weight the good old writer weight and see if any repeats come up just to see and make sure if anything is important okay spirit do you have any final messages for good two Four of Swords, Eight of Swords, Page of Wands. Any final messages, please? Ah, jeez. Um, let me do one more. Any final messages for Group Two, please? Okay. Finally, we have the Knight of Swords. Okay. So, Four of Swords. Um, so these two, I feel, are coming out together. I feel that you have finally learned how to take that break, how to care for yourself, to allow yourself to not feel trapped and burdened. I really feel this strongly. You've learned so much. Like, you... The, the, the thing is, though, about you guys is that when you go through these trials that you actually learn, because there's a, a lot of people around you that are not this way, you guys actually learn from everything. You do not waste any material, you know, um, anything that you go through, anything that you are exposed to, you take from it, you gain something from it. That's amazing. Um, Page of Wands, I do see that as just... A small glimmer of it's just a glimpse of all of the passion that you're going to be creating in your life and you're gonna be doing it fast in the Knight of Swords you're gonna be <laughs> you're gonna really be charging forward with this um, very soon 
What am I drawn to get for you guys? Um, let me probably just do what I did for the other group, and I did give them letters and charms. I I don't really resonate with the letters, but just in case if it does with you guys, I'm just gonna get some and see see what happens. Spirit, what are the significant letters for group two? Yeah, I don't really like to do letters like through charms because I like to get them just in my mind, but we'll see. It might be fun. Okay, that was a lot. Um, hold on, let me do that one more time. It might um, spell out like anything in your situation. Let's just do it one more time. Spirit for group, uh, group two, group two. Okay, so you have J, A, ah, so tiny, A, C, and we have F and L, okay? So, you know, take what resonates. It might not even resonate. I don't, I just did it for the hell of it. Um, okay. Any significant charms? For group two, please, Spirit. Group two, what do you have for them? Let's go. Hmm. Travel might be significant for you guys. Travel or um, maybe not literally travel, but like soaring or something like that because you have the little airplane charm. Um, what else? Someone might be traveling towards you, maybe. You have the... This does not surprise me at all. You have the little elephant that very well could be your spirit animal or the energy that you embody because, again, old soul, very wise, very... Um, just very, you're, you you guys are very, uh, what, what is the word I'm looking for? Um, not, not calculated, but you're just, you're very, um, it's like almost like considerate or you're, you're very meaning, uh, very mindful with every single step that you take, you know, I, I can't, it's, it's just this image of a, of an elephant walking just slowly and powerfully forward. It's, it's like a weird image to come to my mind. And then you have finally the the tree the, it, this is either the tree of life the tree of knowledge so again it just feels like that old soul energy you guys are firmly planted um you have gained an enormous amount of strength and power from that your ability to stay grounded stay balanced and to keep evolving and and keep putting those roots down okay so you guys are really on point so that's pretty much what i'm seeing here Okay, um, I feel that you know exactly what steps you wish to take next. And I also feel that you guys are not afraid to take these steps and that you can even see intuitively, right, very clearly that you are going to achieve this. I feel that you don't have a doubt in your mind. So remember, speak that truth. That is one of the truths. Speak that truth because that is only going to help to heal those energies and to get you to that point. And that is you. You continually and perpetually are healing and evolving, okay? So, group two, very powerful reading, very beautiful energies. So that's what I have for you. I hope that this helped. If it didn't resonate one bit, you can always pick a different um, group, but that's what I have, uh, group two. So let me know what's going on with you in the comments. Um, please subscribe and share if you enjoyed this, and thank you so much for tuning in. I am sending you all blessings and abundance, and I will see you all next time. Take care. Bye-bye.
Hey everyone, this is the reading for those of you who chose group number three, which is the Rose Quartz Pendulum. So let's take a look at your energies now, what Spirit has for you. Spirit, this reading is for group three. And whatever energies surround them now, what's going on with them, please provide us with clear guided messages for group three. Spirit, what are the present energies for group three, please? Present energies for group three. <laughs> okay, wait, whoa. <laughs> I can't do this. Um, this is so funny. That was so funny. I The reason I read, I'll tell you in a second. Ridiculous. Um, so here's, this is so interesting because all, all three groups so far did get the Ace of Pentacles, okay? So first and foremost, you guys are in a crucial point in your path. Th this is, um, and, and it did, of course, it's uh, interpreting differently for every group here, but okay, this is what I'm seeing for you guys. First of all, the energies that I'm feeling for you guys are ridiculously powerful. That's why when those two cards over here, which I'll tell you about, um, they popped out <clears throat> and kind of like surprised me. It was it was, it felt like a jack in the box, and I'm I'm drawn to the letter J just because I said jack in the box. Um, this was this was um, kind of like whoosh, it shocked me. It startled me. So this tells me that that is going to be the energy of what's to come for you guys in the near in the near future okay so let me I'll, I'll get there but this one is all about you guys the ace of pentacles you are at this point a crucial and significant point of your life path there's definitely gonna be something new starting up for you very soon some of you might be moving starting a new career starting a new project whatever the case is for you it's gonna be new it's coming soon or it's starting even now but it is coming soon and it's going to change everything this is going to take your success and your progress, your evolving, to a completely new level. <sighs> See what I mean? It's already so powerful and it's just the first card. What is this little animal down here? Is that like a weasel or a meerkat? What is that? Um, I wonder what that... I honestly don't know what that is or what it could signify, but I am kind of drawn to that. I don't know if you guys want to search up on that, if that resonates with you. Anyway, um... The abundance that's coming in is going to be unreal. So abundance, success, prosperity. Again, all three groups got this, but for you guys, it was just like, poof, like totally took me off guard in its power. Let's keep going. We have here, oh my gosh, this is crazy. The sun card. Wow. Just wow. So not only are you going to be having this strike of abundance, prosperity, and success, you're going to have a ton, oh my gosh, a ton of happiness. This is insane. I, I can't believe the power behind this. Like if, if I, I would be speaking in a much more different tone, but I'm trying to contain the energy, not just, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to keep it calm. Um, but this is insane. I, I feel the energy coming from you guys. This is extreme happiness, elation, and vigor. It's, it's just, you're burning bright. You are going to feel like this torch in a good way. Okay, it, it feels extremely elevated. I don't want to use the word manic, but I mean, I, I have a relationship with that word. It's That's what it feels like. It's not a mental health thing at this point. This is spiritual mania. I mean that in the kindest way possible. And I have felt it before. I actually, interesting thing, I felt it the night that I started my tarot channel. It was like, I went from a zero to a thousand. It's that kind of energy. This is big, okay? So this is um, extremely high vibration. That That's what I was looking for. High vibration. Okay, let me, let me just like, it, I can feel you guys, all of it coming it's it's a lot of life changes in one so it's quite significant and um recently i had to expand my vessel 
kind of like that that chalice that cup there because the energies were just so big and powerful that I couldn't contain it so I was getting all chattery and anxious and stuff so this is me trying to keep it calm but this you guys are going to feel this and you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. This is crazy in a good way. Um, all right. So, oh my gosh. <sighs> this is incredible. I, I am beside myself right now. Let me cut the suspense. Um, so, this is why. You, you will see why. Look at this. You have Eight of Wands. You have the Death card and the four of wands. This is insane. So for many of you, okay, this is this is most of you. It, remember, it's a general reading that it won't resonate 100%, but for most of you, you are going to get a message from your twin flame flat out. That is what I see here. You are going to receive communication from your twin flame if you're in separation, okay? So again, it's not going to resonate 100% because some of you, that's not the situation. But this is clear-cut communication, direct, straight, to the point where that jack-in-the-box feeling, boof, like it was as if that thing hit me in the face and it was just like, it, it was so sudden, it was unexpected, and it filled you guys with this, that energy, that high vibration that I was talking about, it was like a punch in the face, spiritually speaking. And the fact that you have the death card, oh my gosh, I... I I, it's, I'm like almost speechless. Rebirth of yourself, your life, your happiness, not to mention the twin flame relationship. This is insane. Like I cannot, that's a lot. It is a lot. I'm buzzing right now. Um, and I'm not even trying to hide it. I'm just trying, <laughs> I'm just trying to, uh, what do you call it? like convey it and let it flow a in a balanced way I'm not gonna be able to sleep if I if, if I didn't contain it properly I wouldn't be able to sleep because it's just such high energy. So this is what I'm seeing This is what I'm seeing here and you see how I'm hesitating because this is a lot. So now what that tells me When all of these changes take place remember this is not just about one thing. This is about a bunch of significant really meaningful life events happening all at the same time so we're looking at either you know whatever the next couple of months november might be very significant for a lot of you or the end of october um and if you're watching this reading you know whenever i mean these readings are timeless but if you're watching at the time where i'm posting it it is going to be significant these next couple of months in particular october november december more so November, December time frame I'm getting here. But anyway, um, so what I see from the way I'm hesitating here, what I sense from this, you guys are going, it's going to take you off guard and it is going to be sudden burst of energy, yes. But at the same time, it's going to feel like you are in slow motion. It's going to feel like you are just pausing everything everything Let, let's take a long breath and just be here in this moment and i did some readings a long time ago where i felt your person staring into my eyes it was very intense so i don't know what it is about you guys this time it's not group four i think i mentioned that in one reading it's not group four this time but um i'm i'm feeling the sensation of your person again and they're a very strong twin flame connection here and that's all i'm able to see right now and it is intense it is extreme and you guys if it resonates that that's the case for you you know exactly what i'm talking about so let's finally keep going here you know i love to draw a lot of cards okay so we have here the nine of wands spirit what else for group three group three group three So the Nine of Wands fell very naturally beneath the Eight of Wands. You have been waiting for a long time, specifically for either communication or for this movement forward in your life. And you have battled again and again. You have gone through 
hell, basically, excuse me if that word offends some of you, um, but you have gone through it, and um, you're drained, you're, you're worn, even feeling like you're just beaten up, but you made it, and guess what? You've made success. You have found success. You guys are only going to get stronger after this point. You are going to elevate, and I... I I feel as though you're not even going to believe it as it's happening. And yet, at the same time, you are. And look at that. Oh my gosh, the Ten of Cups. This, I, I, can't, I can't believe the amount of prosperity and abundance in this, in this spread. Like, this is unreal. This is other level, all right? So you guys are really on a different plane. You're on a different level um, than I normally feel. You guys are like, I, I just... It's intense. I mean, that that's not even a fair word to use here, but it's... It's a lot. It's a lot. So let's see. Yeah, for many of you, I do feel like you are going to either be relocating or expanding in some way, whether it's within your home or your career or both even. So that's another strong thing that's really coming through there. Um, oh my gosh, look at that. You have the Five of Swords and the Five of Cups coming up together. This is heavy, heavy energies here. So Five of Swords, you know, is similar to the Nine of Wands. You've been through it. Um, now, I feel that actually what I'm sensing here, I this happens every single time. Your person is taking over just slightly here. And this is their energy. I can really sense that this is their energy. Look. There's enormous loss that they have felt. They have felt their own inner battles. Um, now, again, if this is not resonating for you at all, it might not be the right group, but for you guys who are here, this is strong. This is real. So, Five of Cups, Five of Swords, they have gone through their own uh, distress because of this. They And what I'm seeing here is that again and again and again, they have gone back and forth in terms of their decision to reach out or to travel towards you. They have gone over this in their mind to the point where they have beaten themselves up. And th this has been on their mind for quite some time, I, a while, a while. And they still haven't, but they. But I see here that they will, that they're going to. And it, it's going to be part of their divine timing. I'm sensing that you guys are really clever, really clever and um, either creative slash artistic. There's something, uh, you have a wit about you. Yeah, that word clever came to mind. It's, it's I, th I think that you solve problems like a machine. You're like, boom, like, let's, let's get this done. So to me, that just shows your growth, your expansion and it's why you're able to be so successful. Oh, and that's that little animal there. Maybe that's why I thought of that too. Maybe that's a spirit animal of yours. Um, so, okay. We have the Knight of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, as well as the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, 10. Um, October. October might be very, very significant for you guys mid-october some of you actually on the 15th some of you might be i'm getting a range here october 15th to november 22nd i have seen this range date this da date in my head the dates for a while now and i wanted to share that with you guys just in case but that date range specifically i feel is very significant like a lot's gonna happen so anyway um the wheels are turning in your favor. I am getting that excitement again. I'm feeling it from you guys. Like this, so th to me, what I can gather from that is that you've been waiting for these changes and these shifts for your whole life or for a long freaking time. And you are going to be seeing that stability, that prosperity, you know, that the seeds are being planted and you are going to be seeing that movement and particularly with you guys in, in regards to love. Oh my goodness. Okay. 
Spirit, what else? Actually, let's clarify just one. Spirit, can you please clarify the... the well, I want to do both of these now. Can you clarify... Let's do first the Eight of Wands. Can you please clarify the Eight of Wands? Okay. You have the King of Swords. This could actually be referring directly to the person in mind here. I, I really am sensing that it is a person that this is going to be twin flame or love related. Um, and usually I cover all my bases and I say, okay, you know, it might be friendship, whatever. I'm going to cut that out here. I don't sense that. I sense that, th I sense that this is a twin flame connection, okay? So we have here the King of Swords. The element of truth is very meaningful in this communication, specifically truth, okay? So this could be, well, truth and justice. This could be your person thinking about or taking steps towards that action of truth and justice. So this could be significant if your person or the situation was unfair to you or wronged you in some way. Remember the Five of Cups. This is regret. This is guilt. Okay, not all of you it's going to be guilt, but this is regret and sadness. Okay, so clarity is coming in. Truth, balance, fairness is coming in. Spirit, can you please clarify the Four of Wands, please? Um, some of you, so the Emperor card. Uh, some of you, it might be an Aries or just like some strong, I'm getting alpha, the word alpha male, like, or, or not male necessarily, but just like a, a masculine, I was going to say, an alpha masculine, um, a strong masculine energy here who is very burdened or who was very burdened. They are coming into their rebirth as we speak. Hmm. They're always trying to communicate with me. Like, um, so yeah, you guys, we share that channel for you guys in this group. We, we seem to share that channel and um, a crap load of information comes through. Definitely hesitation though. Not just with your person, but there's, there's just a little bit that I'm sensing. Um, you guys are completely on the right track. Absolutely. I just sense that there's some hesitation with one part of things. So your person could be hesitating and you might be hesitating with one particular aspect of your path. Um, something that you've been really wanting to do, you haven't done it. Something that you're just kind of like toying with, thinking about. There's something there that is like kind of, that's the only part that I'm seeing hesitation from. Um, Knight of Pentacles we have here. Okay, so your success is already upon you, but if you're just a little bit more patient and a little bit more focused, right, diligence comes to mind, that is going to benefit you like you wouldn't believe. So put in the time, put in the regular routine and the diligence and put in a little bit of work every single day. You're not going to believe the difference that this makes you. So if whatever, whatever you're working on, it's going to help you, whatever shape or form. The temperance, yes. Very beautiful. Um, there is just a ton of healing here. There's going to be healing within yourself, and I'm sensing a great deal of harmony around you. So this could be with other people. This could be within your home. With whatever situation you're in, there's going to be a ton of healing coming in. Seven of Wands. What else is going with that? And the chariot. Yeah, there, there's something that you're going to really stand up for. And it has to do with a choice, a decision, or a life path. You, I, I have a feeling it's more of like a life path decision, right? So you charge towards it with such determination that other people, it, it's kind of like they jump out of your way. They're like, whoa, like this person is serious. So you really stand up for yourself in that way. Okay, so what am I going to get here? Let me get a couple of other cards from my classic deck here just to see if anything is being confirmed. But wow, what a slap in the face with that.
and um, I I can't remember exactly what the groups were for that previous reading I did. <clears throat> what magical things are coming your way? But that it comes to mind here. You guys are going to feel like this is magical. So that's why I was just like dizzy. You know, like that high vibration. It feels magical. It's the closest thing we can get to magic, really. Okay. Spirit, do you have any other tower at the bottom of the deck? Do you have any other messages for group three about anything? I'm getting better at containing the energy because it's like... It was a lot in the past, and it just spilled over my cup, so to speak. But now I'm kind of containing it better, I think. Very nice. So, we transform from the Five of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. That's nuts. <sighs> Goodness. And the Fool card to me shows that bright, beautiful new beginning. Remember, we have the death card here, the rebirth. So this is this is just ridiculous success. And this is not just with one thing, it's with every situation. So it is with the twin flame situation, it is with the either work, home, or self situation, but either, whatever the case is, you just ascend and you start this wonderful new beginning. Spirit, anything else for group three? Okay, finally we have the Eight of Swords the hanged man and eight of pentacles so i'm drawn to the fact that these are both the eights so remember how we went from the five to the ten you go from this eight to this eight feeling completely trapped confined imprisoned in your energies in your life maybe for some of you you just got out of or you are currently releasing yourself from an energy of being trapped so I feel that a lot of you have finally freed yourself and it feels freaking amazing. The Eight of Pentacles shows that this is you. You have finally learned to surrender and release and let go of whatever it was that was keeping you captive. And as a result, all of the success is coming through. You're you're going to be working really hard. And I, I said it somewhere over here before. Oh, the, the Knight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is that energy, a little bit of hard work every single day. It doesn't have to consume you, but that consistency, that diligence is going to transform your entire life. So that's a lot, I know, um, but it, it's going to be completely worth it. And you do have to start somewhere. Just take a little bit at a time, even a half an hour a day, 20 minutes a day, whatever the case is, you must start with that. And you're going to be extremely successful as a result. So what am I going to do now for you guys? I kind of want to get some written messages, but I, ugh, I'm i not sure if I want to do that. Um, okay, now I have to do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I didn't do that for the other groups because um, I got them some charms. But let's see if anything comes up. Spirit, do you have anything at all for us here that, any messages for us here? Any messages at all from here? That's very interesting. There's something you don't know, and I'm not who I say I am. That's very interesting. Let me do one more. Okay, what else? I need answers. Okay. 
this is kind of why I didn't want to get it because I, I had a feeling it would conflict but like and this says I crave you so I think that the I need answers is this truth that I spoke of before the truth and the justice coming in for you so over here there's something you don't know and I'm not who I say I am I for that one I do sense that it has to do with your person or even a situation um, the way that they portray themselves to be in, in, in meaning their false portrayal of themselves it wasn't who they really were that that's kind of what I see from that so I crave you I, I I mean I from what I see here it's this they're what they are craving is reaching out to you is talking to you is being close to you communicating with you in any way and I'm hearing their voice like I, I feel like I can hear their voice so like they want to actually speak to you. They want to hear you. And the, that that is what they're craving. They're craving just to simply hear your voice. Like that, it, that's actually very beautiful. So let's get a couple of other things here just to end the reading spirit. Are there any significant letters for group three? So yeah, I, I, earlier I said, Jay, um, sometimes I don't really like to use any, any charms or anything for letters, but I just do it just in case it does resonate for some of you. Uh, we have, we have W. So, I mean, it might spell out like a word for something that might spell out some part of a name. Who knows, right? H, we have Q, U, L. D and Z. Let's see, where is it? Yeah, so that some of these letters might spell out part of their name or something here could be spelling out part of a situation, but I try not to read too heavily into those, but let's get some charms for you guys. Spirit, are there any significant charms for group three? Oh my. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's take them. Um, the first one that came out, I, I think that this is a seashell. However, that resonates for you. Um, you do have, you do have love. You have the two feathers, or it's a wing actually, that came out together. And I think that happened for a previous reading so I feel that that's significant there um, there's something I feel significant with star for you guys um, with this love and this twin flame thing okay so you are at a time of transformation definitely <clears throat> and look at this fortune and luck coming your way shamrock thing there's still well you guys got both of the trees both of the either tree of knowledge tree of life and look there's like a little baby one and then a bigger one here um so i feel that for you guys it's it's you completely evolving into your truest self right and some of you there might be something significant with something with child um i believe this is the is this the hamza okay however that resonates for you guys a lot of spiritual wisdom here um, and then finally you have the little trumpet. I feel like in the past, I, I think I've said this in past readings, um, you guys had uh, signs coming through through songs, songs and music, or maybe some of you are musicians. And then your final charms, you have the, I think this is an anchor. Okay. I feel that for a lot of you, this is your ability to finally stay grounded stay grounded okay and then here you have this adorable little i think that's a cat okay um i'm kind of reminded of halloween here maybe halloween is significant for for you guys so there's a lot going on here clearly all right um group three so just wow that's that's my word of the day for you guys wow so definitely let me know what's going on with you in the comments this was a lot of energy Whew. 
it really, it, it was like an, it was like a spiritual energetic workout. I felt like it was a lot. Um, so yeah, let me know what's going on with you. If this didn't resonate at all, feel free to pick a different group, but that's what I have. I really hope it helped and let me know, um, if it did resonate, but, um, I was just trying to see if I missed anything. The fool card. Yeah. The fool card is, um, really calling out to me here. So I'm really sensing that you that you take this is the leap of faith and I really feel like you start to travel some kind of a different path. Um if some of you are moving, let me know. Okay. So anyway, um group three, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm sending you blessings and abundance, even though clearly this is you know overflowing with it. So Thank you guys again, and um, be sure to check in for my next reading. We'll do a follow-up, but I will see you guys next time. Blessings on your journey. Take care. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>
Hey everyone, this is the reading for those of you who chose group number four, which is the green purple fluorite heart. So let's take a look at what's going on with you guys. The spirit this reading is for group four and their current energies, what's going on with them. Please provide us with clear guided messages for group four. Spirit, what are the present energies for group four? For group four, please. Hold on. I actually want to do it one at a time just in case because this deck is quite slippery. Group four, please. Present energies for group four. Okay. So we have here, oh wow, we have here the Three of Wands and the Ace of Cups. So let me get probably one or two more. Okay, Queen of Cups. And you have the Four of Pentacles. And then the devil card. So what I was sensing from just the Queen of Cups. So here is the Queen of Cups right in the center. And what I sensed immediately from just that card was a great deal of healing. I feel healing from old wounds. And that either that this is what you have recently gone through or that is what you will be going through. So we have here on the end the devil card. So what I, what I sense from that is... Is, is kind of like you've been trying to outrun that devil energy for a long time now, possibly your whole lives. It has only kind of blocked you up, kept you from achieving your full potential. So the devil energy could be any form of darkness or it could be attachments, addictions, dark energies, negativity of any kind. Um, I feel like it's been preventing you from really expanding the funniest the funny thing to me though is that we started with the card for expansion right so i th what i see from that is that this is what is on your mind right now you are focusing hard on your expansion and particularly your healing your heart healing i am seeing that these are deep emotional wounds from the past that you have been only focusing on healing and overcoming that is you here as the Queen of Cups. So you as the Queen of Cups, you are extremely spiritual, psychic, intuitive, empathic, sensitive, emotional. All of that water energy there. So it makes sense to me that you would have these deep-seated wounds in the way that you do. So they are there within your soul and you have been focusing on healing them for some time now. And, and you have been very very successful it's just that there's still some challenges for you here uh let's see let's see what we can clarify spirit what else for group four the two of cups okay i'm getting that well i think that this is you still i feel that this is talking about self-love i'm really not getting that this is a soulmate love not at least not yet because ace of cups and two of cups coming up together I, I i'm just really getting all about the self all about the emotions spirit what else for group four we have king of wands I, again i see this as you i see this as you wanting to be that bold, fiery, passionate self. But at times, many times, it has gone overboard into being burned. So it's not passion, it's it's harmful fire at that point. And, and I feel that this has been a really big struggle for you for a long, long time. But here with the Two of Cups and the Ace of Cups, I do see that there's an enormous amount of healing for you in, in that regard. Whoa. We have here the Two of Swords and the Nine of Cups, yeah. Two of Swords, Nine of Cups. 
So I see that although you have witnessed your own healing, I feel that you're still quite uncertain or indecisive or maybe unstable about your progress. I just see I just see you as wavering. Right? But it's interesting because I feel that you don't need to. It's coming through a self-doubt, which would make sense to me that you have the devil card here. So again, it does feel like you've been trying to outrun this devil your whole life. Okay? Um, some of you, it might actually be something with an addiction or um, some, some blockage in your life. Okay? So the Two of Swords coming out together with the Nine of Cups, it shows me that you have nothing to fear. That... You have everything within your power to achieve this satisfaction, this fulfillment. Um, but it's, you know, it's pretty human to be doubtful of that. Uh, let's see. For some of you, the Two of Swords might be indicating that there is a situational blockage, though. So there is a situational blockage in terms of you expanding. So this could be something in your environment. It could be something in maybe a relationship or... You're in your situation in general. Okay. So, yes. Um, although I feel from you guys, it's like this shy and timid, uncertain energy I get from you guys. You have a lot of happiness coming in. And what I want to tell you about that is that you are allowed to enjoy this happiness without the fear of loss. So when it comes towards you, and it will, just express your gratitude towards spirit and towards, you know, whatever you believe in or whoever you believe in and enjoy it. It is a gift. A gifts are coming towards you. Okay? So that's what I wanted to say about that. Two of Pentacles here. See? That wavering, that juggling... Um, that uncertainty, the two twos here. So with the Sun card, you also have the Ten of Cups. This is beautiful. This is so healing. This is happiness. This is being elevated. It's a high vibration and, and the Page of Wands here. So I feel that you are successfully climbing out of that devil energy. Okay? So again, if it was literally for some of you something with addiction... Um, not necessarily substances, but uh, the word that comes to mind is recovery, and that's beautiful. So this could just be, you know, it, it could be anything at all that was holding you down, blocking you, or creating some kind of struggle in your life. You are climbing out of that. You are recovering from that. You are going to be seeing so much beauty and healing. And I'm really sensing, you guys, like, your, your energy, it's just... I, it's it is very afraid you know so it spirit is telling you hey you you don't have anything to be afraid of anymore there's nothing to fear so just really try to replace that fear with faith and trust in spirit in the universe in in everything in the divine timing of everything just try to have that trust because this is going to help you to feel more stable and it's also going to help you to actually enjoy these gifts when they come to you, rather than living in fear, okay? Spirit, what else? What are the present energies for group four? Yeah, wow. This is really good. The Eight of Cups, see? You are going to be moving on from that energy, moving on and moving forward. Remember, recovery and... and um and healing so you also have justice now that's very significant this is balance all of the uncertain energy over here balance okay so it's still wavering at first but i see that you guys are really growing you're shedding that old skin and you are coming into this new completely new balance and justice in your life um for a lot of you this means that you are going to be taking much better care of your physical self. That's a big one for a lot of you. Or your, of course, your mental self. And then here we have the Queen of Pentacles. 
Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles is definitely something about the self-care and the environment, the body, the physical, right? So that's there as well. Um, let's see. Spirit, can you please clarify the Queen of Cups? Now, this is very uh, interesting because... I asked to clarify the Queen of Cups, which is you. So I said this whole time about fear and um, that fear of loss and all that stuff. And then the Five of Pentacles came up. And not to mention the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles speaks of perhaps a mindset of um, scarcity and, and, and clinging on to something very tightly because we're afraid to lose it. So it's, it's really coming up again and again. So Five of Pentacles, it shows here that you are or have been in this energy of hardship this mindset of hardship emotional or could be financial situational hardship whatever the case is um and it has it's it's been draining you so we have here the king of swords right so in divine timing as we moved forward and things have becoming have been becoming more aligned you have been stepping more into your power, into your truth, and allowing fate, destiny, the whole thing, allowing it to really move and spin forward, right? Um, you are beginning to embody more passion. Remember, we had the King of Wands. So here it is again. I, if this was, if this was any other reading, like a lot of things that appear like it's love related, but I see this as you guys. So the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands, that is you. That is your balance. That is you embodying the divine masculine, divine feminine. Look, the Two of Cups is right next to it, the Ace of Cups. You guys really come full circle and establish a full sense of self. That is huge. That is huge, particularly if it was mental health related or spiritual, um, spiritual union. This is this is really powerful, powerful, deep healing. And this is unique to all of the groups I've done here. Sometimes I can't tell if the cards are just slippery or... Let me just do it one more time in case. Okay. It came out again, so there it is. It shows here that you have been waiting the Four of Cups. So definitely some blockage, hesitation, fear. Some of you, it might even be apathy. So you've been waiting. You've been sitting on the sidelines for a while. And I sense that you have grown quite tired of that. You have grown tired of being passive or afraid in your life. Passive because of the fear, by the way. I'm not thinking you're purposely doing that i feel that you've been afraid or again uncertain and you, you're just you're tired of that nine of pentacles beautiful so here with the nine of pentacles this is you stepping into that power this is you regaining a sense of control in your life the healthy kind of control not the other kind from before this is you gaining uh for a lot of you this is going to be even financial independence all right. Now, if that's not the case, if that's not um, like resonating for you, then it's showing that that's where your mind is going. You are transforming. You are establishing that freedom. And this is going to be completely earth shattering for you because you've never experienced that before. Spirit, what else for group four? I, and I and I am getting the image here, and it, I mean it does kind of show it here. What is what animal is this? That's a little odd. Um, I I got the image for, uh, uh, from this card of a a bird releasing from a cage. That's specifically what I got from you guys, and and singing. We have the ten of swords. Look at that. The cycle of pain coming to an end. A lot of pain. And I am sensing emotional pain or something in the situation that's been really hard. What else? What was I doing? Um, Spirit, what else for group four? Seven of Cups, yes. So you have pathways opening up for you all over the place. So 
uh, sometimes with this card, you have to be a little bit cautious because it might feel overwhelming. But remember, there's nothing to fear. Just allow yourself to completely just breathe and relax. Just rela relax even the muscles, the tension in your body. Just um, if you have any nervous habits, like if you clench your jaw or you shake your leg or if you, you know, just like are a clenchy kind of a person, relax all of that by just breathing deeply and slowly releasing that with the exhale. Imagine it, right? If you do that, that is you calming your whole energy system and your nervous system too. And that will allow you to choose the path that is right for you. Because the way that we choose a path is through our intuition. And only our intuition is going to lead us in the right direction. Whoa, okay. So we have here the Three of Cups. Yes, it, it, it is about time. We are going to be seeing some fun, some joy, some happiness. Just, just let it be. You know, just let it happen. Just enjoy it when it's there. Because you have earned it. You have earned it. You have the moon card here. I feel that you're going to have that tendency to feel maybe confused or like you're in the dark. But instead of, instead of taking on the energy of the darkness in this card, take on the energy of the light, the moonlight. Allow that to guide you through that dimness. Spirit, anything else? Okay, we have the Eight of Wands. That one could be significant with either receiving news, perhaps communication or travel. Um, let me just do one more for that. Spirit, can you please clarify the Eight of Wands? Oops. Okay, so Eight of Wands, we have the Five of Swords. So I feel like it's something is def definitely going to be clarified for you. Um, I think that uh, it, it could be that um, you receive information or news that helps to clarify your situation or, or help to clarify some of that confusion for you guys. Um, Nine of Pentacles again. Uh, let's see. Spirit, do you have anything else for Group 4? Any significant messages? We have here the High Priestess, the Ace of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles, which came up over here as well. So, I feel that you guys, um, another piece of advice here, just repeating from before, trust your intuition, okay? You are receiving the messages. You are receiving the communication in some shape or form. So you must trust trust that gut feeling by the way the only way to tap into intuition truly is to relax and surrender um it, it's the reason for that is because um if we're all clamped up and anxious and negative it blocks it puts a cap on that you know so we might as well be blocking ourselves nothing comes in but if you relax and just let go of everything you are creating an open receptive channel for that information so that's the reason for that so try to meditate do whatever you need to do ace of wands totally new beginning of passion for you guys as you learn balance and stability and you are and you absolutely are so ace of wands is part of your destiny your wheel of fortune card here so i i feel you're growing hope i feel you're growing passion and excitement for this new way of life okay so this is really really big so let's get a couple of letters or charms for you guys since i did that for everyone spirit are there any significant letters here for group four I don't typically like to do letters, but I just figured for fun I would do it because um, I, I, I never really trusted, but let's see if anything comes up. So I'm not sure if that, okay, that's, that's weird. That's very weird. You guys got three Z's. 
in a row. What are the odds of that? The other letters are S and O. So however however this resonates for you guys, I, I that's strange to me. Z, Z, Z. What? What does that even mean? Um, so let me know if that resonates with you. That's really strange. I didn't expect that at all. Spirit, what uh, significant charms do you have for group four? For group four, please. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you guys have the flower. And I really feel that that fits with your Queen of Cups energy. It's just, you know, very, very beautiful, open, delicate, um, sensitive, all of that. So that that's you, okay? And so I think, I'm assuming this is a, looks like a butterfly or maybe a moth or something. Oh, wait, whoops. Okay. So yeah, again, beauty, transformation, flight, freedom for you guys. Um, th this is, I think this one is just the connector piece, but I feel that that is significant for you guys because you are bridging the gap and you are connecting the pieces and you are really aligning. Okay. So that's what I see from there. And finally you have the, the little heart shaped world here. Very beautiful. There's a huge self love theme. Um, expansion, travel, maybe travel for some of you, but I do see that ex ex expansion with the self-love, the compassion. Okay, so this is so beautiful. Um, group four, definitely let me know what's going on for you in the comments. And if this didn't resonate at all, feel free to pick a different group. But that's what I have for you, group four. Uh, so much healing. And I'm really happy to hear that because you guys have been through a lot. So sending blessings sending more healing towards you guys and abundance and thank you so much for tuning in please subscribe and share if this helped you or if you enjoyed this and check in with me in the next video i will see you guys next time good luck on your journeys blessings to you take care Bye bye